yes guys okay fine 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 so am i properly audible and visible guys so we are starting this session so this is my dear the second session this is the second session in this prediction series himan good evening teju yes priyanka hi dear how are you all so guys today we will see top 10 questions of theory of machine top 10 of theory of machines okay we have already seen for production okay now we will see about the theory of machines just just wait just wait yes i feel it is getting hanged just wait guys i am joining again just wait i am joining again within 1 minute yes kalyan ajay just give me 1 minute i am joining again fine guys so once again we are starting the session yes kiran hello hello guys to everyone so we are starting the session now guys and today is the top 10 of theory of machine we already have seen the top 10 for production and today we are going to have the theory of machines so this is some detail about me and the subject for this session is theory of machines and vibrations and guys this is some detail about telegram channel yes kenil hello dear how are you uh dear in this we will be covering some important question for important topic we are having formula 1 series for that already tom is covered and i will be coming for production machine design and uh, also for some other practice sessions also okay so guys if you want to have pdf of this session all exam notification had written notes pyq doubt resolution all these things you can get on my telegram channel mechanical by dheera sardana and you will get this pdf also on that channel prediction series is going on where we are having top 10 questions on every subject one day each you can see yesterday was production today is theory of machines and guys in formula 1 marathon we are revising all the formulas in two hour session what we have already seen in the maha marathon of 10 12 hours same we are going to revise in two hours i already told you one more thing that uh, for production those who are looking for metal forming part i would be coming on thursday on thursday in formula series i will be revising all those topics which are not covered in marathon like metal forming metrology and all okay now without wasting the time we are starting the session uh, on friday saturday sunday you are having uh, verbal ability engineering maths and aptitude classes on this channel entire marathon and now with the first question i am here in front of you so this is the very first question out of top 10 this question is from flywheel sir which series you recommend to get gate level questions in byju uh kenil for that we can have uh, we can have connection in uh, you can say whatsapp are you talking about the youtube series or you are talking about the paid course i didn't get you okay kalyan sir what about uh, okay kalyan for that also we will talk uh, on the whatsapp better okay so solve this question guys a machine is coupled to two stroke engine which produces a torque of this so my dear you are given the value of torque to be 1000 plus 200 sin 2 theta this is the value of torque given to you you need to find out the mean engine speed is also given okay that is also given mean engine speed is 400 rpm you need to find out the power power can be found out as mean torque into omega mean you know that omega mean is going to be 2 pi nm by 60 okay and my dear if you want to find out mean torque you know it is going to be work done in a cycle 
as it is two stroke integer that equation is also given sin 2 theta time period is going to be pi so guys you can write it as 1 upon pi integration 0 to pi t d theta i feel i have given you proper hint to solve this question and i can expect all of you will be giving the right answer for this so i also getting i am also getting the answer teju kalyan yes 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 kenil shreyas sarath uh, Kenil, Hemang, very good. Malesh, Mohati Badia. So, all of you are giving right answer. Very good, Kalyan. So, all of you are saying the answer to be B. Everybody is getting B. First of all, tell me what is the omega n you are getting? What is the omega n you are getting? We are getting omega n to B. This is 41.88. 41.88 radian per second. And my dear, when you are finding out the mean torque, mean torque will be coming out to be what? That will be coming out to be 1000 Newton meter. Okay. And when you will find out this power, you will be getting the answer to be around, answer to be 41.88 kilowatt. So the answer is 42 kilowatt. B is the right answer. Very good guys. Bahut hi badia. Very good guys, bahuti badia. Ajay, bahuti badia. Moving further to question number two, guys. And this is a very good question. Here they are asking you the governing equation. This question is from natural vibrations. Natural vibrations. You can see that there are two masses. One mass is this, other mass is this. So because of that, once again, I would say go with energy method. Wherever you get two masses and one is in the rotation, other is in the translation. Go for energy method. Okay. So, go for energy method and make the equation and let us see how many of you are able to make the correct equation. Yes. Do like and share the session guys. This is the second question of this session. We are having 10 top quality questions for you guys. This is the second question. So, my dear, I will give you the hint that you need to find out the kinetic energy and kinetic energy will be coming for two bodies. This body is in rotation because it is fixed, its axis is fixed. So that is having a pure rotation motion like this. So kinetic energy for that is going to be half I omega ka square. Okay. And for this, the kinetic energy is going to be half mv ka square. Okay, you know what would be the velocity this time? This time the velocity will be this is r. This is r. Okay. So if this is r, you know that when we are going to find out the velocity, r omega is going to be the velocity this time because this is moving on that only. So velocity is r omega. You will be getting half i is mr square by 2 into omega ka square. Kinetic energy of this plus 1 by 2 m velocity is once again r omega ka square so my dear you can find out the kinetic energy similarly you know the potential energy also similarly you know the potential energy also if you are talking about potential energy of the spring you know that spring is also attached to this so if this is going to be rotated by an angle of theta then there will be a force coming out to be k into r into theta that will be the spring force. So you can have k into r into theta. So potential energy will be half k x is r into theta ka square. Then total energy is nothing but kinetic energy plus potential energy. Then my dear you will be saying dE by dt to be 0. This will give you the equation. You can see that you need to put omega to be theta dot. Because the equation is in the form of theta. So my dear omega will be theta dot. Now solve this and try to get the right answer. I feel everybody can get the right answer for this question. This is kinetic energy. This is potential energy. You need to go for total energy my dear. Yes, solve this session guys. Solve this session and do like it guys. Yes. Teju, Kenil, Hemang, Kalyan, Malesh, Sarath, Shreyas. Yes, Konki. 
एवरीवन टेल मी टेल मी टेल मी गाइस द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन सो यू नो दैट दिस विल बी नथिंग बट थ्री बाय फोर एम आर स्क्वेयर थीटा डॉट का स्क्वेयर ओके सिमिलरली दिस इज हाफ के आर स्क्वेयर थीटा स्क्वेयर जस्ट एड दम एंड मेक द इक्वेशन मानस इज से द आंसर टू बी बी मानस इज से द आंसर टू बी बी वट अबाउट अदर्स वट अबाउट अदर्स ओके श्रेयर्स इज ऑल्सो से बी कैनिल इज ऑल्सो से बी बहुत ही बढ़िया भौमिक इज ऑल्सो से बी एंड गाइज येस द आंसर इज ऑल्सो बी If you see this equation, why I have taken this question? Till now, whatever the questions we were doing, we were having the pure rolling motion. Here it is pure rotation. So that is why this question is different than the other questions. Yes, Hari Hari Prasad, very good. Malesh, very good. Hemang, very good. Teju and Kalyan, very good. So guys, you will be having the total energy to be equals to. Total energy is equals to this component three by four. 3 by 4 m r square theta dot ka square plus 1 by 2 k r square theta ka square is equals to is equals to constant. You will be going for differentiation d e by d theta. You will be getting 3 by 4 m r square 2 theta dot theta double dot plus 1 by 2 k r square 2 theta into theta dot is equals to zero. Then, my dear, if that is the case, we know that theta dot and theta dot will get cancel out. Two two will get cancel out, and you will be getting two k upon three m. That would be into theta plus theta double dot is equals to zero. This will be the equation, and answer is going to be B for this. And yes, B is the right answer. Moving to question number three, guys. This is once again from vibrations, and this question is from damped vibration system. Kenil is saying, sir, Newton method se kaise karna hai? Dear Newton method se karna hi nahi hai. Why we need Newton method? जब आपके पास d l number है तो Newton से करना ही क्यों है? करना ही नहीं है, ठीक है? That will be lengthy. खाम खामे बड़ा क्यों करना question को? So this is a question from damped vibration. So my dear, how you will be taking this? This time you need to use the torque method. You will be giving some theta deformation to this. Okay. Then my dear, obviously this will be displaced by some amount, and that is let us say x. Let us say let us say let us say x is equals to l by three into theta. Then x dot will be l by three into theta dot. So you will be having a restoring torque as c into l by three theta dot into l by three. And you know there is a uh, road mass also. So road mass it is going to this distance. So you know that here will be the weight. Here will be the cos component. Here will be the sine component. So you will say the restoring torque because of mass will also come. Because of mass will also come. That is m g sine theta into l by two, and now you will say i theta double dot. So my dear, you can see the equation is there with you. Very easily you can solve it. I theta double dot plus this is c into l by three ka square into theta dot plus. Plus 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 m g l by two into theta because sine theta will become theta when theta is very very small. This is the d l Lambert or torque method. Now what he is saying: uniform pendulum rod having mass of 10 kg, length of 5 meter, attached to viscous damper, having damping coefficient c, use acceleration due to gravity as 10. The least value of c such that small motion of the pendulum rod decay without oscillation. When they are saying without oscillation, it means you need to consider it. You need to consider it as critical damping. You need to consider it as critical damping. 
ओके सो वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट क्रिटिकल डैम्पिंग फॉर क्रिटिकल डैम्पिंग रूट आर गिवन टू बी इक्वल एल्फा वन इज इक्वल टू एल्फा टू सो इफ यू रिमेंबर वेन द रूट विल बी इक्वल दिस विल बी ए क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन यू कैन मेक इट एंड देन ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट द आंसर आई हैव गिवन यू प्रॉपर हिंट फॉर दैट just try to solve it this is a wonderful question guys let us see how many of you give the right answer for this yes solve it you know that if you will be making this to be a quadratic equation then the roots are minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac is equals to 2a these are the roots alpha 1 comma 2 roots are becoming equal when b square minus 4ac becomes equals to 0 because then only this will become minus b by 2a root will be equal so you just need to use this part of quadratic b square is equals to my is equals to 4ac okay now what is b what is b this is b and what is a i what is c mgl by 2 you know i about this axis of rotation will be ml square by 3 ml square by 3 mass is given to you Length is given to you. You just need to put the value, guys. These are special question, so definitely some special thing you have to do. Is it clear, Kenil? Is it clear, Hari? Is it clear, Kalyan, Malesh, Hemang, Teju, Bhomik, Shreyas, Manas, Ajay, everybody in the class. So, guys, just use this concept and solve it. You need to equate the roots. equate the roots for that this is the b b square this is the c this is the a so you just need to do that c into l by 3 ka square so c into l by 3 ka square this is your b square is equals to 4 what is a ml square by 3 what is c what is c c is c is c is mg into l by 2 mg into l by 2 so this is a new type of question guys and from here you can find out from here you can find out uh, the condition for c the value for c that is what you need to find out very good i feel some of you have answered it hemang is saying a shreyas is saying a hari haran sorry hari 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 prasad is saying a manas is saying a and guys i would like to say that yes you all are correct a is the right answer so for this answer is also 104 the exact answer will be coming out to be 103.95 so you will get 103.95 newton second per meter okay wonderful guys moving further to the next question degrees of freedom yes great hemang next question is degrees of freedom my dear next question is degrees of freedom so here you need to find out the degrees of freedom the degrees of freedom this is easy question so there is a combination some easy some difficult some easy some difficult to give you a proper feel this time you need to find out degrees of freedom link number 1 link number 2 link number 3 link number 4 link number 5 link number 6 link number 1 link number 1 yes this is the help from my side find out the degrees of freedom so number of links are there now joints binary 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 ternary binary binary so guys number of links are 6 number of joints 1 binary 2 binary 
थ्री बाइनरी फोर बाइनरी सिक्स बाइनरी सेवन बाइनरी सो आई फील ज्वाइंट्स आर सेवन वेन यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम इट इज थ्री इन टू एल माइनस वन माइनस टू जे हाइयर पेयर्स आर जीरो सो इट इज फिफ्टीन माइनस फोर्टीन डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम इज वन Actually, generally students are making mistake here. Okay, so always see this is a turn. Uh, this is a ternary joint because three links are corrected. Four, six, and one. Answer will be one. बहुत बढ़िया, बहुत ही बढ़िया, guys. Moving further. Next question is from. Next question is from. Quick return motion mechanism. Okay, this question is M S Q. what he is saying that he has given you all the dimensions this is offset slider crank mechanism this angle is given as theta so you know that when we are talking about the forward stroke forward stroke would be like this and return stroke would be okay first of all you must see this angle is given as theta so when this will be moving in that direction first of all we need to check it once again look at it so guys when you will see this this is the forward stroke and this is the return stroke so when my dear forward stroke will happen whenever return stroke is happen you know that if you see this total angle this angle is given as theta so for such cases how the quick return ratio is defined quick return ratio is defined as 180 plus theta By one eighty minus theta, this is the quick return ratio defined. Okay, so guys, what are the options they are asking you? They are asking first of all, this mechanism can be used as QRR. Second is the stroke length. Third is the ratio of quick return ratio. Fourth is the QRR is not defined. Out of these four, more than one can be correct. Solve it and get the answer. I need answer from your side, guys. you can see dimensions are given to you dimensions are given to you you can consider one triangle like this this is one triangle okay this is one triangle red one okay this is one triangle red one okay so when you will be considering this triangle first one and considering the second triangle that is blue one that is blue one so you will be able to find out the theta now okay because this distance is known to us 500 mm okay this distance is known to us as 500 mm and if this is 500 mm what is this this distance is nothing but it is mentioned that o oa is 700 co is 100 so oa is 700 this is given to you and with that you can find out this angle phi 1 and you can find out this angle phi 2 theta is nothing but phi 2 minus phi 1 theta is nothing but theta is nothing but phi 2 minus phi 1 anybody who have done this question guys phi 2 minus phi 1 how you will find out phi 1 and phi 2 dear sin phi 1 can be written as What is sine phi one can be written as this is this is perpendicular this is hypotenuse so this divide by this so you can write five hundred upon seven hundred then sine phi two will be second condition will occur when you will be having five hundred divided by seven hundred plus one hundred l plus r okay sorry this is minus 100 l minus r and l plus r but that is given 700 not directly so there is no problem this is 700 this is 700 plus 100 this will give you phi 1 this will give you phi 2 this will give you theta this will give you quick return ratio very good very good very good very good yes theta given nahi hai ajay so guys everybody got the quick return ratio so i feel you are saying quick return ratio to be c 
so c is correct this mechanism can be used as quick return that is also correct a and c are correct now the fight is for b fight is for stroke length now you need to find out the stroke length also so find out the stroke length okay so when you will be finding out the stroke length then you can find out the third thing also yes try to find out the stroke length you can use the phi 1 and phi 2 and find out this and this then this is s1 this is s2 you can find out s1 minus s2 is stroke length if you want to find out s1 you know this square minus this square so when you want to find out s1 you will say s1 is 700 ka square minus 500 ka square s2 is 800 ka square minus 500 ka square and s2 minus s1 is the stroke length i feel everybody can find out this and you have already given the answer stroke length will be coming out to be 134.602 so stroke length is s1 minus s2 sorry s2 minus s1 that is 800 square minus 500 square minus 700 square minus 500 square the answer will be 134.602 mm the answer will be a b and c d is wrong very good shares so aap sabhi logo ne sahi answer de diya wonderful guys malesh bahut hi shandar teju teju uh, s1 s2 i didn't calculate i directly given you the idea notes uh, it is going to be 800 na because this is mentioned oa is 700 so OA, OA, what is OA? OA is 700. So if OA is 700, my dear, then you know that this OC, OC, this is the OC, this OA is 700. When this OC will be coming here and then you will be having, okay. Ha, 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 okay, okay, okay. You are saying this L plus R. This will be 900. Yes, fine. This is 900. Very good, Teju. Sorry for the mistake. 900 will be correct. Wonderful. So, this is going to be 900. Fine. The answer is 134.6. Wonderful, guys. Moving further to the next question. This is a numerical answer type from Hartnell Governor. Numerical answer type from Hartnell Governor. Hartnell governor, the mass of sleeve is 4 kg. Then you are having at the spring force, Fs1 is 3 Newton for a radius of 3 centimeters. For the condition of isochronism, neglect the, uh, neglect, neglect the friction. You need to find out Fs2 at 5 centimeters. Yes, solve it guys. Solve this guys. This is from Hartnell Governor. I feel this type of question we have done a lot of times. Just try to solve it and get the right answer. Yes, everyone. Okay, are you talking about the previous question? Okay, let me clear if you have that doubt. This was the first condition. For this condition in reality, this is the correcting road. Correcting road is in the this position and crank is in this position. So, whatever this distance given that is L minus R. Okay. The second condition is 
सेकेंड कंडीशन इज दिस वन दिस विल बी एल प्लस आर इज इट क्लियर सो माई डियर यू नो एल माइनस आर इज सेवन हंड्रेड एल इज इक्वल टू सेवन हंड्रेड प्लस हंड्रेड एट हंड्रेड एल प्लस आर विल बी नाइन हंड्रेड दैट इज द कंडीशन हा देन स्ट्रोक लेंथ यू विल बी गेटिंग एज this is coming out to be different then the answer will be a and c b will not be the right answer in my calculation also b was not the right answer okay but why the mistake happens as i said i also kept the wrong value 800 minus 500 so when you will keep 900 then you will be getting the answer to be 268 whatever you are getting so answer will be for this a and c B will not be the answer. A and C are correct. Yes, I thought I have done the calculation mistake. That's why I agreed because all of you were saying, okay, yes. Sometimes it is like that कि हम खुद पर ही भरोसा नहीं करते because I have just done the calculation before your class. So you guys have done it correctly. That's fine. Tej, you have found out the mistake. That's really great. Good. ओके निहार आर यू गिविंग द आंसर फॉर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन 31.6 आर यू गिविंग द आंसर फॉर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन निहार दिस इज द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हार्टनेल गवर्नर दीज आर द डेटा इज गिवन टू अस वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट द स्प्रिंग फोर्स सो यू मस्ट बी नोइंग द कंडीशन एम जी प्लस एफ एस वन एम जी प्लस एफ एस टू that is given as that is given as r1 by r2 you need to find out the spring force too all other things are given to us this is the condition of isochronism this is the condition for isochronism yes ha teju you are correct no issues yes kalyan so manas is saying the answer to be 11.67 what about others nihar have given the answer 31.6 nihar have given the answer 31.6 okay what about others so guys m is given to you as 4 kg so you can write 40 Plus F S one is three divided by forty plus F S two. This ratio is three divided by five. Find out F S two. Try to give the right answer. Kalyan is also saying thirty one point six. Teju is saying thirty one point six. Hemang is saying thirty one point six. Okay, and the answer is thirty one point six. Correct answer. Very good, Nihar. You have answered it much before others. Okay, Manas, no issues. Malesh, very good. Hemang, very good. Teju, very good. Fine, guys. Moving to the next question, guys. Moving to the next question. This was question number six. Very good, Shreyas. Moving to question number seven now. This is related to the gears. This is related to the gears. This is question number seven. This is question number seven. So, my dear, this is a compound gear train. Compound gear train is shown in the figure. Consists of this type of figure. You need to find out the speed of gear F. so guys it is a compound gear train you need to find out the speed of f if you want to write nf upon na it would be coming out to be 
if we are saying ta into tc into te divided by tb td tf i feel everybody know this formula product of number of teeth on driven but a driver very good ajay solve this question guys and do like and share the session we are having top 10 questions here top 10 means 10 good quality questions and this is question number 7 question number 7 okay yes so waiting for your answer ajay shreyas malesh manas hemang kalyan teju Try to solve it and get the answer. Bolo bhai. Number of teeth are given 24, 30, 56, 32, 80 and 72. Solve this one. Solve this one and get the answer. Okay, I feel now answers are coming. Shreyas is saying A, Hemang is saying A, Ajay is saying A. Manas. Very good. So, if you see the answer for this, the answer will be coming out to be NF as 56.8 RPM. How it will come? Na is given to us. Na is given to us as 800 RPM. It is going to be number of teeth in AR24, in CR30, in ER32. Then we have 56, 80 and 72. So you will be getting the answer for NF to be 56.8 RPM. The answer for this question is going to be A. Very good Kalyan, Teju, Malesh, Manas, Shreyas, Ajay, Hemang. Very good. Moving further. Moving further. To the next question. Question number 8 guys. Question number 8 now. So, once again degrees of freedom, once again degrees of freedom, once again degrees of freedom. So, degrees of freedom is very important for gate examination. Chances are one question will come this time. So, try to find out. Yes. Try to solve it. Try to solve it. Number of links, number of joints, number of links, number of joints, okay, Kalyan and Teju have said the answer to be 1. First of all, number of links are coming out to be 8. 8 are the number of links. What about the joints? 1 binary, 2 binary, 3 binary, 4 binary, 5 binary, 6 binary, 7 binary, 8 binary, 9 binary, 10 binary. So, number of binary joints are 10. Higher pair is 0. Answer will be. 21 minus 20 answer will be 1. So, 1 is the right answer, guys. Very good, Hebang, Manas, Ajay, Kalyan, Teju. Bahuti Badia. Moving further to the question number 9, guys. This is a good question. Here you need to answer the critical damping coefficient. Critical damping coefficient you need to answer, guys. Determine the value of viscous damping coefficient for which the system shown critically damped. I feel you know the formula for that. 2 root Km. Is this the formula? 
is this the formula solve it yes teju is saying 20.5 what about others yes what about others Kalyan is also saying 20.5, 30 kilo Newton. Okay. Everybody is getting the same or anyone is getting different answer. Tell me that. I feel you will be getting 2049.39 Newton second per meter. So Teju, that is what you are doing in exam. That is what you are doing in exam. You are skipping this and your answer will be coming 20.49. You will feel you have done it correctly and you will get 0. Because new, uh, numerical answer type do not give negative markings. So you are lucky to have zero here. Okay. So that is how the mistakes happens. Is it clear? Yes, yes, yes. Fine, fine guys. So moving further now. Very good. So this is from flywheel question number 10 and this question is saying a reverting machine having capacity of 20 reverts per minute so you know 60 seconds we are getting 20 reverts so cycle time is 3 seconds and he is saying 120 degree of rotation happens for punching time so out of 3 seconds for 3 seconds crank rotates 360 degree then 120 degree rotation will happen in one second so punching time is one second he is saying that it is driven by a motor which is having a power capacity of 3 kilowatt so the total energy required is is power rating into cycle time 9 kilojoules and energy during reverting during reverting power into punching time so delta E will be 9 minus 3 kilojoules which is equals to I omega mean square Cs you need to find out omega 2 you need to find out omega 2 you can also write delta e to be half i omega 1 ka square minus half i omega 2 ka square you need to find out the speed after the punching operation just solve it just solve it guys what would be the answer i have given you the hint also i feel everyone can solve this one I feel everyone can solve this one. Just solve it, guys. Just solve it, guys. Solve it and give the answer guys. Everything is given to you in the question. So you just need to find out the value of omega 2. But you will be getting it. You need to find out N2 rather. Okay N2. In RPM you need to answer. Everybody. Ajay is saying 
आंसर इज करेक्ट थ्री सिक्सटी सॉरी फिफ्टी थ्री फिफ्टी वन पॉइंट फोर फोर सो थ्री फिफ्टी वन पॉइंट फोर सिक्स टू थ्री फिफ्टी वन पॉइंट फोर सिक्स टू दिस इज द राइट आंसर थ्री फिफ्टी वन पॉइंट फोर सिक्स टू आर पी एम वेरी गुड श्रेयर्स वेरी गुड हेमांग अजय ऑल द आंसर आर इन द रेंज बहुत ही बढ़िया ऑल द आंसर आर इन द रेंज बहुत ही बढ़िया कल्याण बहुत ही बढ़िया एवरी वन सो मूविंग फर्दर गाइज टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम सिंगल स्लाइडर क्रेंक मकेनिज्म काइनामेटिक एनालिसिस दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन एक्चुअली The crank radius and connecting rod length of a reciprocating running is like this. Crank angle for maximum piston velocity. You know that V P is given as R omega sine theta plus sine two theta upon two n. I told you when n is given to us, we will be going for d V P by d theta to be zero. then you will be getting some value of theta that value of theta will be for maximum velocity so you need to find out the crank angle for maximum velocity which will be depending on the n value okay i have taken this question because some of you were asking in the formula series sir for maximum velocity what should be the theta so if n is given to you you can find out like this If n is not given to you, then you will take theta to be ninety degree for that case. Okay, so without n, otherwise how we can find out? Solve it and give the answer. Solve it and give the answer. Options are not there. It is numerical answer type. they can also ask such things in radian but here they are asking in degrees solve this question manas teju kalyan shreyas hemang ajay everyone malesh we will have one more question after this from gyroscope bonus question this will be the case when you will go for dvp by d theta then you can write cos 2 theta to be 2 cos square theta minus 1 it will become a quadratic equation in cos quadratic in cos then you will be getting the value of cos theta from the quadratic equation that will give you the theta value this is the hint for the question no kalyan that is wrong i am not asking the maximum acceleration check it again so what would be the value of theta you will get you need to use quadratic equation because cos 2 theta can be written as 2 cos square theta minus 1 when you will put it here you will get quadratic in case in cos solve this one guys this is a good question good 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 question bablu saha i feel you are giving the answer to the previous question 351.46 that is correct so guys do like and share the session we are still left with one bonus question bonus question is from gyroscope solve it solve it solve it
अजय हैव गिवन द राइट आंसर हा ओके ओके कल्याण सो अजय हैव गिवन द राइट आंसर फॉर द थीटा सो थीटा वुड बी कमिंग आउट टू बी 77.056 डिग्रीज हा दैट 144 फोर फोर इज करेक्ट नो इश्यूज दैट इज विद इन द रेंज वेरी गुड वेरी गुड वेरी गुड श्रेयर्स अजय वेरी गुड मानस बहुत बढ़िया तेजु यू गॉट इट और नॉट तेजु यू गॉट इट और नॉट जस्ट सोल्व इट गाइस जस्ट सोल्व इट सो द आंसर विल बी सेवेंटी सेवन पॉइंट जीरो ओके जीरो वन फोर इज करेक्ट नो इश्यूज वेरी गुड वेरी गुड मलेश बहुत ही बढ़िया Moving further, guys. This you have done it nicely. Now we will move on to the next question. Bonus one. Bonus one is from the gyroscope. This is from the pitching. The rotor of the turbine of a ship has a mass of two thousand kg. Rotates at a speed of three hundred rpm clockwise when viewed from the front. The rotor has radius of With bow ascending with its maximum velocity, assume pitching motion to be simple harmonic with a time period of thirty second. So time period is thirty second. Okay, try to solve this question, guys. Try to solve this question. You know that we need to assume when the pitching will happen. Let us say this is the ship. So ship will be having a pitching. like this or like this so this type of simple harmonic motion will happen and that is defined as theta is equals to phi sin omega t that is the hint from my side okay theta is equals to phi sin omega t okay bablu have given the answer to be b let me check it uh bablu please check it again i feel you have done some mistake please check it again so you get to know that okay this is theta is equals to phi sin omega t now solve it let us see how many of you give the right answer for this one yes yes so you can also write this omega to be 2 pi by t t is the time period omega is the angular velocity and what is omega p omega p is d theta by dt that is precision angular velocity of precision which will be coming out to be phi omega cos omega t okay that is the omega p is it clear for everyone is it clear for everyone yes solve it i feel that data is not complete because 6 degree is also mentioned in the real question okay kalyan is saying c will be the answer okay 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 let me see the values of this question i feel some values are missing let me see the value don't worry i am giving you the values ha huh, i am giving you the values i feel some values are missing just wait guys Yes, yes, yes. The rotor has radius of gyration of point five meter. Radius of gyration is point five meter. That is given to us, and also it is given that determine the gyroscopic couple and its effects when ship pitches six degree above and six degree below. So that is also mentioned that this is six degree and that is six degree. That is also mentioned. 
so i don't know how others have answered it without the data this is how the things will happen these two things were missing radius of gyration and this 6 degree here and 6 degree there i feel now you can solve it very easily now you can solve it very easily so answer for this when you will find out will be coming out to be 3440 newton meter and ship will turn towards left because he is saying the rotor is ascending assume pitching motion in simple harmonic and when viewed from the front aap aage se dekh rahe ho and it is going to pitch like this so आप आगे से देख रहे हो इट इज गोइंग टू पिच लाइक दिस आगे से देखने पर इट इज सेइंग दैट इट इज क्लॉक वाइज लाइक दिस दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द डायरेक्शन ऑफ ओमेगा इन पिचिंग इट विल बी लाइक दिस सो दिस इज एक्टिव रिएक्टिव दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द केस एंड वेन इट विल बी गोइंग लाइक दिस तो आप समझ सकते हो इट इज गोइंग टू आर्ट्स इट्स लेफ्ट तो आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी ए नॉट सी ए इज द राइट आंसर I feel some of you have already done this question because it is given in many test series. Okay, that may be the reason some of you have given the answer. Ha ha ha! So when we are going to see this value, you will be putting six degrees into pi by one eighty, and omega can be written as two pi by thirty. This will be the value for omega p. After you get omega p, you know that gyroscopic couple is I omega omega p. That will give you the value of three four four zero newton. Wonderful guys. Sometimes uh, it happens that it will turn to right. I think no, it is left. It is left. I have told you na because the view is this. You are looking from here. This is clockwise. This is the direction. This is the omega. Okay, when you will see the pitching to happen, you will be holding it tightly from the tail. Pitching will be like this or this. Okay, so if this is the pitching going to happen, he is asking that from the front. Okay, clockwise when viewed from the front. So when you will be having pitching like this, front end will be going at top, bottom end will be going at down like this. This is active, this is reactive. This will be the couple. Couple is giving you this. So if you are ship, you are moving towards left. Ships left it is. So the answer for this is A, guys. And these are the eleven questions we have solved with one bonus. I hope you guys are getting it. And I am telling you one more thing that on Thursday we will be having the production session in Formula One series where we will revise all the formulas for production from casting to forming to metrology to sim to everyone. So 26 January, be ready for that. Goodbye for this session. Okay. Okay. So goodbye guys for this session. Thanks for joining. Goodbye. Good night. Thanks for joining once again.